Scorpion EHOR R1, same one as I had last year. The only difference is that this year I picked it up in the carbon fiber look. This one still has a lot of life left in it, but I bought a couple new motorcycles and I wanted something to match all the bikes. So I went with the carbon fiber look for this year just to match the bikes. It's a little lighter than this one just because it's full carbon, but all the same features as last year, just the fact that it's carbon fiber. Price point is a little bit more expensive than this one just because the fact that it's carbon fiber. This helmet also comes with the dark tint. Also comes with the anti fog pin visor, the bag for the visor if you want to take that along with you to change visors if you're riding late into the night. Helmet bag that comes with it. I've been known to use both of these. I had lost this one for this one on the ride and I was hoping to get another one. So I like the fact that it does this ratchety sound feel. I can get it to, you know, kind of somewhere where I'm comfortable at. So I like that about the helmet. One thing that worried me about the helmet when I first got these helmets was this little metal piece here. It's what locks the vices, like airtight. And I thought that, you know, after a while it will fall off. I've been using this helmet for over a year and this thing has not been an issue. The quick release for the visor, this comes on and off fairly quickly to put this one on. You have a vent here on the top. This thing works really great. Once you open it, you get a lot of air in. I usually shut it if I'm trying to use the mic inside the helmet. You also have another vent here. That works really good too. Inside the helmet here, you could also open and shut that vent. I usually keep it closed if I'm using the mic. The pump system inside the helmet. So as these wear off, you can pump these up and it'll tighten up the cheeks on your face. And then you could just kind of like release the air here. Right, that I like that feature a lot because when I'm about to get on the highway, I'll usually pump it a couple times. The helmet fits a little tighter and I can open it up and I don't feel like the helmet's just like wiggling around. Especially once you start wearing these pads down, your helmet will feel a little loose. So I like that feature because of that also. I went with the 2X because the extra large on the Scorpion brand runs a little bit small. I'm gonna start with the SV. This guy right here is getting a new headlight. The chrome rim around the headlight, I sent it out to a shop to get powder coated black. That should be back in about another week or so. Looking forward to that, that's gonna look really good. Now the CF Moto NK300, which is my daily rider. Uh, the only thing I've done to it recently is I took that swing arm thing that I had going on here to hold the plate. So I just took it off and I put the plate up here with some zip ties till I figure out. It has a bracket on it from the swing arm thing, but I just got some zip ties holding it up for now. I don't travel far for work on it, so it'll be all right. And then I was able to save the cable for the rear light and I tucked it in here with the light. It's in there until I figure out how to wire it up to the top somehow, some way. Once I hit 600 miles on this thing, I'm gonna do a break-in review on it and we'll talk about the good, the bad, and ugly on this bike. And now with the Honda Grom, I haven't done anything to this bike at all. It's got 600 miles on it. I picked up the oil and the filter, which I'm gonna do its first oil change soon. The only thing I ordered for it so far is the tail tidy, which is on its way, and I'm gonna change that. Now, I might do the side mirrors on the bar and try to take these mirrors and fit it on the NK. The mirrors on that bike suck. 